Hi, we're going to talk about intercepts. This is going to be a relatively short tape, but it's going to be very, very important because intercepts are very, very important. They have applications in business, in medicine, in banking, in finance, all of that. So, the x-intercept is where the line crosses the x-axis. And if you look up here, well, it looks to me like this line crosses the x-axis at x equals 10. That's the point 10, 0. So that's what I'm going to type in here. I'm going to type parentheses 10, 0. Because intercepts are points, therefore you have to write them as points. Now, if you're like me and you really wish the picture was bigger, we can make it bigger. Let's look at where the line crosses the y-axis, down here at y equals negative 10. Every point on the y-axis has an x-coordinate of 0, so I'll type the y-intercept. I'll, oop, okay, close. You have to close first. Okay, so I'll type this as 0, comma, negative 10 parentheses. There, and I was correct. Okay, let's go to 15. There's another one like this. We're going to find the x-intercept, where the line crosses the x-axis, and that looks like x equals negative 3. On the x-axis, remember y equals 0. So this is going to be written as negative 3, 0. But you have to put your, oop, you have to put your parentheses first. So negative 3, comma, 0. Check answer. Excellent. All right, now, the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. That looks to me like y equals negative 2. Well, on the y-axis, x equals 0. So when I write this as a point, which is how I have to write it, an ordered pair, 0, comma, negative 2. Notice the blue lettering. You always want to watch that. Type, it's telling you how to answer. Type an ordered pair using integers or decimals. Well, we don't have to use decimals. We can use integers. Okay, did it tell me I'm right and brilliant? Not yet. Okay. Now, yeah, I don't have to save that because I'm not at the end. Now, here is a good equation in standard form. Equations in standard form are always easy to, um, to figure out the intercepts on for the following reason. I'll show you why. Brought my trusty little pad up there. Okay, here we have 6x minus 7y equals 42. And it is often easier to graph these by hand, just finding the points yourself by making an x and a y table and finding the intercepts. You do that by putting a 0 there and a 0 there. Okay, this will give you the y-intercept with a 0 in the first place. With a 0 in the second place, this will give you the x-intercept. Okay, up here, if x is 0, what is y? Okay, negative 7y equals 42. We divide both sides by negative 7, negative 7, and we get y equals negative 6. So the y-intercept is going to be 0, negative 6. six. The x-intercept is going to be 6x minus 7 times 0 is 42. Since negative 7 times 0 is 0, just like 6 times 0 is 0, over here we'll have 6x equals 42 and divide both sides by 6, so I'll get x equals 7. 
Now, my x-intercept, simplify your answer, type an ordered pair, in other words, a point. My x-intercept is 7 comma 0 with parentheses around it and I check my answer. Well done it says. Now the y-intercept is 0 negative 6. Check answer. Fantastic. Okay. So this was not really time consuming at all, but it is so, so important that you find out what the intercepts are. Okay? Talk to you later.